Hey everyone and welcome. Give me a minute while I set this up because it's not the easiest thing to get set up on your first pair of Thank you everyone and welcome to Intuit Scopes with Vanessa Cadornu and actually that's me. So I've been a little nervous about doing this and I've been putting it off and thankfully for the support of uh, Rebecca Baruki from Bex Life who's really awesome and kept telling me girl you just got to get on there and for Danielle Mercurio that I met at Soul Camp and she was actually on here and then I kind of threw some hearts at her and the way you throw some hearts actually is by tapping at the screen so you can send me some hearts hey thank you and so and also my friend Kristen who's in Canada hey shout out thank you for coming on she also did her first periscope today so what are we doing? What are we doing today? When we talk about intuition, a lot of us say, yeah, I know what that is, or yeah, girl, that time, you know, when I felt something, it didn't really work out. But I wanted to really get on here and connect with all of you because sometimes intuition um, is something that's not really well understood. So let's get down to what the definition is and then we're gonna go in and actually connect and actually get our guidance on. So. Intuition is really our internal guidance system. It's also the way that we are wired to receive information. And we're wired to receive information, you know, whether it's through our body and we receive chills and sensations or we get those goosebumps. Some of us actually, actually say something if you get uh, also that gut feeling. Any of you out there get that gut feeling where you're like, ooh, I don't like that person or yeah, I like that person. Do any of you ever feel that way? So we can get gut feelings. We feel it all over our bodies. Oh, I see some hearts there. And we also just know without knowing how we know, right? So it's just this thing where we're like, turn left and we can't explain it to our husbands. We can't explain it to our girlfriends or I don't like that person. And you can't even come up with one damn good reason for why you don't like them. So it's body sensations. It's that gut feeling. It's knowing without knowing how you know. It's also feelings. There are a lot of empaths out there. So give a shout out. I don't know if you want to say hey and say you're in here if you're an empath. But empaths are emotional intuitives. And so they get everything in their heart. They feel things. They can walk into a room and totally be in a great mood. And suddenly there's somebody depressed in the room or there was someone who was depressed. And they suddenly get this heavy feeling in their body and they're like, oh my God, I don't know what's going on, but I feel really down right now. So if you've ever felt that way, cheer up because you're not losing it. You are not um, on some weird cycle of emotional spinning. You're actually someone, you know, you're a healer at heart. You're picking up emotions in your environment. You're picking up emotions in um, people that you care about and places that you may be walking by. So that's the emotional intuitive. We've also got that person that blisses out. Now that's the one who takes a deep breath, you know, in meditation, the, the one that some of us can be jealous of, right? Well, not I, but some of us now. And, and he or she is there and they take a deep breath and they're like, namaste, they're suddenly in peace. So the spiritual intuitive sometimes does not feel connected to the earth. They lose their keys a lot. In fact, they probably would misplace their heads if it wasn't connected to their body. So is anybody out there who feels like a spiritual intuitive? Sometimes they pay their bills late and they're so aligned and connected to their spirituality that often they kind of forget they have a body. And so I have a little of that. So we've covered the physical intuitive, the emotional intuitive, the spiritual intuitive, and there's also the mental intuitive. So the mental intuitive picks up invisible information through the mind. So it can be ideas. So have any of you ever been out there, let's say um, in some conundrum, some thing that you just can't get through and you're just like, oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I going to figure this out? I have 5 billion things to do. How am I going to work it out? And suddenly, boom, flash of light. I really think Thomas Edison was probably a mental intuitive, right? He was getting all this information. And Albert Einstein really believed in intuition as well. And he got, he was a mental intuitive, I bet, because he received a lot of images, a lot of signs, and a lot of what we can call clairvoyance or thoughts. So if you're out there and you say, you know what, I don't get any gut feelings or I don't feel anything when I walk into a room or even if my friend's crying, I'm perfectly calm. Um, but you do receive songs, you receive words, you receive thoughts, then just check it off the list because you're probably a mental intuitive. 
And so what are we to do with all these ways of receiving information, right? A lot of us these days are feeling highly, highly overwhelmed. And the reason is because we're absolutely going through this intense time in consciousness where we are shifting, we are awakening throughout the world, throughout the planet. If you look around and even just check out Facebook, right? Or even just topics of conversation. I mean, Dr. Oz last year, I think he had um, something about past lives. Well, I can feel you all snickering too, because you're like, well, I don't know about Dr. Oz. But anyway, he brought on <laughs> the whole subject of past lives last year. So the world is shifting. We're opening up to the invisible world within us. And that's what intuition is really about. It's connecting to the world behind our eyes. It's connecting to the information that is invisible. Perhaps we can't even put words to it, but it's absolutely there. Carolyn Mace, who I adore, and if any of you are very interested in finding out more about intuition, I would recommend that you get any of her books. Yay, thanks for the hearts. I think it's for Carolyn, but thank you anyway. So Carolyn Mace, um, who's a New York Times bestselling author and was a medical intuitive for a lot of her life, she calls intuition the tra it's like translogical, right? It's about translogical um, access, and it's beyond time and space. Hey, hearts, thank you. I can't see what it is because you're kind of like in the little thing that's holding it. But thank you. I know you're pink, and I'm sending you so much love back and yellow hearts. Thanks for the support today. I needed it. And so Carolyn May says that it's receiving translogical information. So how do we get past, now that we know we can receive it through our minds, we know we can also receive it in the outside world. Like, I had a girlfriend who wanted to move to California, but she was scared. She was living in New York. And what happened when she finally said out loud, I want to live in California. You know it, girls and ladies and gentlemen. Suddenly, all of these cars with their license plates kept saying California, California girls. She kept going into stores that said California girls. So a lot of times when we're really in alignment, we start seeing signs and signposts and symbols in our exterior world that are really reflecting and validating what we already know in our hearts. And I would also say for many of you who are on, have you ever gotten a reading, whether it was from me or someone else, right? Or a girlfriend or another intuitive or psychic. And you're like, as you walked away, you felt good, but you were like, wow, they told me kind of everything that I know, right? So that's what's happening here is when you're going to an intuitive, when you're going to a psychic, they're going to shine the light on stuff that you've been afraid to look at, but they're also going to shine the light on a lot of stuff that you already know, but maybe you've been afraid to connect to. So now that we got the handle on the emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual intuitive, I just want to let you know, and you may have figured it out, there's also combos. So very few of us are actually just one type, right? We're usually a combination. So that can lead to overwhelm, right? We're walking around, we're like, poof, I feel somebody's feelings. Oh, I'm getting these thoughts. And then you're getting the chills and you're getting the shivers. And so a lot of us who are waking up, a lot of light workers are really being called to step in right now. They're going through, ooh, ah, 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 like all this crazy stuff. So there are three things that I want to suggest to you. And then I want to bring you in to connect to some of that wisdom. So three things, this is what I live by, three, one, two, and three. So. The first thing, and a lot of you may be doing it already, and I know it seems really, really super duper crazy simple, but the thing is this, simple stuff, if not done, is just simply not done. So why don't we take the simple stuff and do it and start creating that foundation and that habit so you can trust your intuition more? Because the truth is that we all have it, it's always flowing through us, but the other truth is too, that we haven't been taught or supported in this society, in this culture, for the most part, to pay attention to our inner worlds, right? We've gotta go with what like the man says, and the woman says, and mama said, and culture says, and society says, and education says, and everybody else says, and you're sitting there, thanks to the hearts, and you're sitting there going, wait a minute, like I'm lost. The truth is we're usually not lost. We're trying to negotiate between the outside world, what everybody else says, to what our inner voice, our inner gut feeling, and our inner knowing says. So the three things that I really wanna to suggest to you straight off the bat, like starting today, okay? Is one, do something in the morning that grounds you. Because for every type of intuitive, you know, we get up and suddenly, boom, our feet hit the, hurt the, gra hit the ground running, or some of us can wake up all slow molasses, but whatever it may be, because some of us wake up slow, some of us wake up fast, and it's all good, right? There's no one way. When we first wake up, is to take that moment to drop in. 
And I like to do Reiki in bed a lot of times, right? And just connect to myself. I also sometimes try to tap into what I'm feeling. And let's say I'm feeling any kind of stress over the day or anything. I really like to breathe in, kind of give thanks for everything that I have and really invoke the healing and the light to like work through me. And then I, I kind of say things like all is well, everything's working out in divine timing. So, and then really allow myself to drop into my body. So what happens at that point is you are kind of establishing and co-creating the way you want the rest of the day to go, right? Instead of getting the alarm, now you're crazy, now you're late, you're like, oh my God, what's happening? It's like breathing in and going, uh-uh, world, I'm starting the day off the way I want to start it off. And so doing something that really centers you in the morning, and I know some of you have kids as well, so it's kind of hard, right? So maybe even as you're getting up to run out and take care of them, it's just really feeling your feet on the ground, right? And pushing into the ground and kind of mm, going, all right, I'm here, all is well, and I'm being guided and supported. In the middle of the day too, and I'm gonna guide you into this in a minute, to check in with yourself, no matter what madness is happening, no matter you know what phone calls you're getting, what invoices are not being filled, what clients are not signing up, or how many clients are signing up, and you're like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Whatever is happening in your day, you take a really deep breath in, kind of drop into your body really low. Just allow yourself to be there, because most of the time, as sensitives, as empaths, we're not allowing ourselves to be here now. And the greatest power at any time, in any place, and it's not just a book by a Tolle, okay? It's reality. The greatest power is in the now. It's not in the past. That already happened. It's not in the future. It's already unfolding and depends on the present. Thanks for the hearts, Pinky. And it's really in the present moment. So as you're going about your day, kind of dealing and jumping over whatever challenges you have to, is dropping in and saying, well, what do I need to know right now? And when we check in with ourselves, you know, something might say, I need water. I need to walk right now. I need to breathe. I want to change my shirt. I don't like these jeans. Like, whatever your body wisdom is saying, whatever you're feeling in that moment, if you can really honor it, it's going to set you into present moment and support you to move further. Okay, so the third thing that I really live and breathe by and like hope and, and like stay healthy by is doing something to clear yourself, okay? This is something that anytime you've ever heard me speak in all my classes, like I keep repeating it because again, it's so, um, so easy and so simple that most of us don't do it. And you know, guess what? I've seen tons of people light sage and go, sage, I'm saged. And we all know better. We all know that intention is everything. I run out of sage lots of times and I don't even need it because my intention is so strong. So sage is awesome. Listen, holy water, you wanna work with that Florida water for all my Latinas and Latinos out there. You know, Agua Florida like really works. We can do salt baths. We can do um, baths with some type of oil. And we'll get into that in another chat, right? Cause I don't wanna to go too crazy and too well today. But doing some sort of ritual something that becomes a habit that you can do every night to release the day, right? Because here you are, this intuitive sponge going through your day and suddenly you're like sucking it all up and you're like, oh, I can't deal with myself. So no magical fairy is gonna come and tap you on the head and take away the day. And maybe you're lucky and it will, right? But we've gotta help the magical fairy by kind of creating the foundation and the space for it. So getting into a shower, getting into a bath, lighting some sage with intention, maybe even doing some stretching, right? Some yoga position, something where you're really breathing deeply. But your intention is to release the day, release what is mine and not mine, releasing cells and beliefs and ideas and energies and people and fears and attachments that no longer serve my highest, healthiest and happiest good. So when we do that, we open up to greater expansion and greater health. Thank you for those yellow orange hearts. All right, so before we go on too long, because you know I can talk about this forever, and now I'm gonna be in love with Periscope, right? So I'm gonna be here. So thank you all for giving me the support. Let's drop in now. It'll only be about two minutes, so two minutes. Give us a little more time. And I just wanna say one thing before we go in. The fact that you showed up today and the fact that you're watching this, whenever you do watch it, is really a smoke signal. It's um. It's an intention that you're setting out to the universe that you want to make more time for your intuition. And it's so overlooked, right? It's so overlooked. So many of us overlook it. So thank you for stepping up and listening and inviting your intuition in. And thank you for supporting and thank you for 
allowing yourself to go further than what the eye can see, right? The eyes can see, because the eye can see, but the eyes can only see but so much. And so let's just allow ourselves to close our eyes. As we do so, let's take a deep breath in and exhaling. And with every breath in, we're allowing ourselves to drop in. With every exhalation, we're allowing ourselves to release and we're letting go. And every breath in allows us to be present. And every exhalation allows us to release and let go. And we're letting go. And breathing in and exhaling. And as we allow ourselves to focus on our breath going in through our nose and out through our mouth, dropping in even deeper into our bellies, allowing ourselves this time, taking another deep breath in and exhaling. And just asking ourselves right now, what is it that I need to know right now? What is it that I need to know right now? And allowing that to just come to you, however it does, knowing that however it does come to you, it is perfect. And if you need more clarity, let's take another deep breath. And exhale and say, can you give me some clarity on what I need to know? And just allowing. And whenever you're ready, gently take another deep breath in and exhaling and opening our eyes. And just taking a moment to feel that and whether it was the word relax or whether it was go get some water or take a walk or take off that hot sweater. That's what I got, right? Gotta take off the hot sweater. So whatever it was, just honor it and know that every day as you show up for your intuition, your intuition is showing up for you. So thank you so much for showing up today for listening to your intuition. And if you're interested and you've been following me at all, or maybe this is the first time you've met me, I have a really awesome eight week intuition boot camp that's starting this week. So you could find it at www.vanessacadornu forward slash, actually it's vanessacadornu.com forward slash intuitive leverage. And so that's an eight week program. There's a payment plan. We cover everything from protection, energy, healing, grounding, to dip, we go in depth into the intuitive types, we go in depth into clairvoyance, clairaudience, remote viewing, and how then to apply all these amazing intuitive abilities that we're born with into our life and into our business. And if you'd just like a free chat, find me, and you can reach out at support at and just book a 20 minute chat and we'll just connect and see if you're needing something or I can support you in some way. So thank you so much. I don't know when I'm coming back on. I know it's going to be soon, so I have to figure out the time. So, so much love. Thank you so, so much for coming and may your intuition be with you. <laughs> Bye. Thanks so much.